For the past few months, the smartphones grabbing headlines have been the ones with a comma in their price tag. The ones for folks who are cool to drop 40 bucks a month for two years to snag the latest and greatest. This is not that. This is a smartphone for people who want to spend less, but don't want to feel like they've spent less. HMD Global calls it the king of the mid-range. It also calls it the Nokia 7.1. This isn't the first Nokia from HMD Global to hit the US, but it's the first one you might actually care about. Because while the Nokia 6 was a tank built like a brick house, the 7.1 looks like a part of a piano or a fancy bar of soap in a hotel you cannot afford. Naturally, you don't have to look far to see where HMD saved some coin. Uh, the Gorilla Glass 3 is only on the front, while the back makes do with hardened glass. The metal is aluminum rather than something like stainless steel, and the HD display is bracketed by the dreaded duo of notch and big chin. But damn if the rest of it ain't appealing. Gloss steel or midnight blue colorways, chamfered edges with anodized aluminum trim, and the best tattoo you can find on a phone, in my opinion. No, not the Nokia logo, though it does make my heart fuzzy, but the Android One stamp. This means you're not buying an off-the-shelf mid-range phone from your carrier with a bunch of preloaded cruft, bejeweled 8, and McAfee Defender. Get out of here. Instead, you're getting pure, clean Android. It's 8.1 today, but Android Pie will hit it by the end of November, and you'll keep getting updates for two years. I spent a solid afternoon with the Nokia 7.1, and the only place I found the experience really diverges from stock Android is the camera. This makes sense, because the old Nokia built pretty much the best camera phones of 2012 to 2015, and HMD Global has resurrected the intuitive interface from those days, as well as the partnership with Carl Zeiss. It's also created some new features like Bothy, which fires up both front and back cameras at the same time, so you can you know, host a live stream or share a photo of a nice scene and your stupid face reacting to it. See figure one. Ah! Oh. Is that the Friends building? No, it's not at all, but this is a Bothy. Bothies are improved here in that you can now adjust the size of each frame, and for stills, you can position one shot at a time to make things a little easier. I'm told the review phone I shot these on, by the way, was running near final software, so expect your results to look pretty much like this. Still, hold off for the proper review a little bit down the road, so I have time to test things like the endurance of the battery, the speed of the USB-C charger, and the display's ability to upscale old SD content to HDR10, a weirdly specific skill for this kind of thing. I'm quite looking forward to this, if you can't tell. I mean, I love my $1,000 phones, and again, I'm not expecting miracles from this camera, but I do want to see what $349 gets you when you buy a Nokia phone in 2018. The 7.1 will be sold unlocked for use on GSM carriers in the States, with pre-orders open October 5th. It starts shipping from Amazon, Best Buy, and B&H on October 28th, and it'll be in select Best Buy brick-and-mortar stores on November 4. Subscribe to the Mr. Mobile on YouTube so you don't miss that full review, and follow the same handle on Instagram so you don't miss some dope bothy broadcasts. Until next time, thanks for watching. And stay mobile, my friends. Thank you.